What's up guys? I want to talk about what it means to be aware of your breath, what it means to focus on the sensations of breathing as you meditate. This is a question I get from time to time and I see it on the forum very frequently, so I know it's a point of confusion for beginners. When I was starting out with meditation, I had this question as well. And in fact, I remember reading Eckhart Tolle's book, The Power of Now, which made me super excited to meditate, but also introduced a little bit of doubt as to whether I was doing the right thing. And this is because in that book, Eckhart Tolle talks about feeling your inner body and tapping into your uh, inner energy field. And I remember thinking, what the hell is this guy talking about? You know, it's your inner body, some uh, other kind of realm that I'm not aware of. Am I doing the right thing? And it just introduced that a little bit of doubt and made me question whether I was you know, actually meditating or not. And it turns out that those terms that he uses, inner body and inner energy field and so forth, and other terms that you might see if you read about meditation, are just really flowery ways of describing something that's very basic, very simple, and very grounded in reality. And that's because feeling your inner body is actually quite simple. It just means putting your awareness, focusing your attention on those feelings in your body, in the case of breath awareness, caused by your diaphragm expanding and contracting, you might be able to feel the air breathing in and out of your nose. You might be able to feel your chest and stomach or pelvic region expanding and contracting with your breath. And those are the physical sensations that we want to pay attention to. And these sensations are nothing mysterious. It's nothing magical. It's uh, of the same nature as the kind of sensations you would get as if you were tapping on your chest or something like that. It's just that in the case of breath awareness, those sensations happen to be somewhat subtle and uh, tend to be overweighed by other sensations in our bodies. So at first it can actually be very uncomfortable to pay attention to these relatively subtle sensations. <clears throat> so when beginners are first told to focus on the sensations of breathing and they start putting this into practice, one of the first reactions is, this feels super awkward, it's boring, it's hard, why am I doing this? There's a reason I don't pay attention to my breath normally. So that's a very normal reaction and a big part of the reason why uh, people have that reaction is because your mind, your nervous system, doesn't really view this action of putting your awareness on your breath as a viable movement per se. It's just not something that your mind is really used to. It's like if you learn a new sport, for example, you learn basketball and you learn how to dribble the basketball, it's gonna feel really awkward for the first couple hundred repetitions. It's the same thing with putting your awareness on the sensations of breathing. It doesn't feel natural at first, it feels uncomfortable. But after many repetitions is going to feel a lot more natural. It's going to become a viable action that you can do whenever you sit down to meditate. It won't be something that you really uh, find so uncomfortable anymore. It still might be challenging, especially if you do it in conjunction with other things, for example, running and dribbling at the same time, or in the case of, or in the case of breath awareness, being aware of your breath as you do other activities, which is what I talk about on this channel, doing continual breath awareness. But as, the more you do it, the more it will become a uh, viable activity that you can more readily jump into. Another thing to keep in mind is that we're not so much interested in the feelings of breathing per se, but rather in the state that it brings you to when you do pay attention to those feelings. And that is the state of presence. So why is this? Well, when you pay attention to the feelings of breathing, this is really the whole point of meditation, you withdraw power from the thinking mind, you're not caught up in your past, in the future, in your anxieties about your life, but rather you're focused on the ultimate reality of the present moment which sounds really intense when you call it the ultimate reality, but a lot of the time, from sort of an objective perspective, it's fairly mundane. But from that subjective experience, when you're there and you're in the state of presence, it feels amazing. In fact, uh, soon after I started doing continual breath awareness, uh, one of the first things I did was I bought a pulse oximeter because I felt like I was high. I felt amazing for a good fraction of the day, and I thought I might be inadvertently controlling my breath and maybe hyper-oxygenating myself. So I got this little thing you put on your finger. It tells you how much oxygen is in your blood. And uh, it turns out my blood oxygen was quite normal. I even went off the breath and I measured it again. It wasn't that. It's just that being in the state of presence feels really great a lot of the time. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you just feel really bad. But it's still much better to be in a state of presence. You're going to feel good a lot more than you do normally because your mind is not going to be putting you in these downward spirals of uh, crappy thoughts. <laughs> One more thing to keep in mind is that the actual feeling of keeping your awareness on the sensations of breathing, you know, it's going to feel a little awkward at first, as I mentioned, but also the, the whole experience of doing that is going to change as you start entering the state of presence. So within any meditation session, as you get more into it and you start tapping into that realm of presence where you're not really thinking as much per se, but just focusing on those sensations, it's, 
you're gonna not really be forcing your awareness on your breath per se, but you're gonna start feeling as if you are the breath. And again, this is one of those, you know, kind of bullshit terms that people use, like just be the breath. And it's kind of useless if you, if you use that as a directive to beginners, because you can't really just tap into that state of being the breath right away. You have to access it through the effortful direction, directing of your awareness to your breath. So by paying attention to the breath, you can enter the state where it really feels like you are the breath and all your actions emanate from the state of being the breath, so to speak. So if people talk about being the breath, that's kind of what they mean. They mean that's the state that you kind of reach when you direct your awareness to your breath for a sustained period of time and you develop your concentration that way. And that brings me to another point, and that is the point of this exercise when you're just starting out is not to attain some crazy states of bliss or really even presence just when you're starting out, but rather it's to just exercise your concentration so that you can steal attention from your mind in a sustained way and put it on your sensations in your body into your ultimate reality. So you're just developing your concentration in these early stages. So don't really view it with such a huge level of importance or spiritual significance. It's just a concentration game at first. So I hope that clears up some of the confusion about what it means to pay attention to your breath during meditation. I'm going to be doing more videos on this topic in my upcoming series on getting started with meditation and continual breath awareness. But if you have any questions in the meantime, drop me a line at rationalawareness.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy this, and I'll talk to you next time.